having a good pumpkin is important whenever you're carving in general. Whenever you want to add more creative elements, it becomes even more important. And the first thing to consider is size. If you're going to be doing any type of intricate detail work um, or having a lot of things going on in your pumpkin, you're going to want a bigger pumpkin. A pumpkin like this guy over here, which you can essentially pick up easily in one hand, um, is just going to be too small. It's going to be like doing needlepoint on there when you're trying to get your details in with your pumpkin. Another thing is that, in general, the bigger a pumpkin is, the more lumpy it'll become. It's harder to get the nice round shape uh, that we come to expect in a pumpkin. Now, this is important, but also not important at the same time. What's important is that we have a nice curved surface on some side of the pumpkin. So see right here, we have like, and you can even like palm it with, with two hands, uh, we have a nice canvas for the pumpkin. Um, to where we're going to have a lot of room. This is your canvas right here where we're going to put all the details. Now, look back here. It gets all really lumpy and indented, but that's not going to be as important for us uh, because we're not, we don't need to use the entire pumpkin. A lot of creative pumpkin des designs, generally, even like the traditional ones, will still have a primary face for the pumpkin. I mean, keep in mind, though, if you are doing something where you want to be able to do something all the way around the pumpkin, which I don't advise because it makes the pumpkin very unstable, at that point, then yeah, worry about having a perfectly round pumpkin. Otherwise, if you have a side, that's good enough.